morning. Great morning. Great, great morning, awesome people. Great morning. Great, great morning, awesome people. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5. Great, great morning, awesome people. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5. This is Reverend Allison Daniels. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5. Listen, God um, placed this on my heart. And this is one of the scriptures that, you know, I read all the time. But until you read it over and over again, or when you read it over and over again, you see something else that stands out. So the scripture for today is Psalm 61 verses 1 through 3. And it reads, Hear my cry, O God, untend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. That's the King James Version. But then I read another version that says, um, the Passion Translation reads, O God, hear my prayer. Listen to my heart's cry. For no matter where I am, even when I am far from home, I will cry out to you for a father's help. When I'm feeble and overwhelmed by everyday life, guide me into your glory where I am safe and sheltered. Lord, you are a paradise of protection for me. You lift me high above the fray. None of my enemies can touch me when I'm held firmly in your arms. And you know, as I was reading this and um, early this morning, late last night, as I'm falling off to sleep, trying to think of what it is, God, you want me to say or you need me to say in this season. He says, shift. God gave me one word, shift. I need you to shift how you perceive me. I need you to shift how you're looking at things. Um, Where it says in Psalm 61, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. That means that your thinking has to be higher. That means that you have to look unto him who can keep you from falling. That means that you have to shift everything that you're going through and shift it back over to God and let him know that when I'm overwhelmed, I need to shift everything that I'm going through over to you. That's the way that I perceived it. When I read it last night before I fell off to sleep and even when I read it this morning, it was like, you're going to have to shift some things off your plate. You're going to have to move some things out of your way. And you can't do it on your own. This is not something that you can do. The things that you're going through in life, the, the situations that you're going through, you're going to have to shift it. Move it out of your way. You're going to have to pray to God to help you release it to help you to uh, let it go. And I was thinking about, you know, when you're driving your car, you have to shift gears and you have to shift to, what is it? Drive, reverse, um, neutral. It's just like, just like driving a car. You have to shift some things in your life. You have to shift some friendships, some friendships that you've had for years that you feel that you should still have. You have to learn how to shift and put people in a certain box that once uh, stood or had a place in your life. You now have to shift them over. And that's okay because when you have to start moving relationships over and when you have to start shifting friendships over, that just means that you're growing. That just means that you're growing outside of your comfort zone. And if your friends can't understand, your family members can't understand, and your co-workers can't understand, lean unto God. Because there comes a time that we have to learn how to grow past some things. We have to learn how to move past some things. That's that shifting that takes place in our life. And I kept saying, shift God. Are they going to even understand what I'm saying because I, I know you gave it to me. I know you're speaking to me, but 
um, shifting takes on a whole nother level when you tell people, move things out your way, shift. Because when God starts leaning in your direction, some people can't go with you. When God starts leaning in your direction, not everyone is qualified to move with you. And you have to be strong enough. You have to be wise enough. You have to seek God for his wisdom. You have to seek God for wisdom. My pastor talked about it yesterday. Wisdom. Seek God for wisdom. Shift. Change the way that you think and seek God for what it is that you know that you need. Maybe you don't know what you need. Then seek God on that. Say, God, I'm not sure what it is I'm going through. I just know I'm going through something. I just know my body's not right. I just know my friendships, my relationships. I just, it just seems like everything is all out of order. I know something's not right, but I want to shift it over to you. I want to lay my burdens down and I want to be able, Father God, to be able to live a peaceful life. I want to be able to, Father God, to live a life, Father God, that's pleasing to you. I want my life to line up and in order for my life to line up, in order for me to be free in my mind, in order for me to be free in my heart, that means I have to shift some things in order for me not to lose everything. That means I have to let everything go that does not line up with you, Father God. So Lord God, lead me to the rock that is higher than me. So that I can look unto you because while God is shifting and moving things, believe it or not, he's moving, um, people, he's putting, he's moving some up and he's moving some down. So don't be discouraged when, you know, you apply for certain things. And at that moment you don't get it. Don't be discouraged because God is shifting the atmosphere in your favor. He's moving people and things around that you don't even know about certain jobs. You feel that you should have had God still moving. God still doing things behind the scene. He's still shifting things in your favor. All things work together for your good. So don't be discouraged. Be encouraged knowing that God has you covered, knowing that God is making things right just for you, just because you decided to walk with him, just because you decided to trust him. See, when you trust God, when you trust God, when you shift the way that you think, when you shift the way that you perceive things, when you shift the way that you manage your emotions, you will be able to trust God with everything. And that's where that shifting comes from, because that shifting over to God can be uncomfortable. That shifting is not easy. When you've been that super woman, when you've been that super wife, when you've been that super friend, when you've been that super coworker, when you've been that super um, businesswoman, it's not easy. And, and, And I'm one of all of those. I'm one of all of those that wore so many hats. I didn't know which hat I was supposed to shift over to God because I was doing so much. But once I learned how to release things unto God, once I realized that if I don't let some things go, if I don't take some things off my plate, I'm not going to be able to, to survive these next four, five, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years that God has for me. If I don't release some things off my plate, if I don't let some emotions go, if I don't let some people go, some family, friends, some relationships, then I'm going to lose it. If I don't learn how to shift some people into, um, I always tell my daughters, put people into a people box. You know, if that, if you've been with that person for a certain amount of time and now things are kind of you know, not so right, put them in a people box. Learn how to organize your relationships. Everyone is not your friend. Sorry, I had to break it down to you. Not everyone that you call a friend is your friend. And that's where we're getting twisted. 
I don't really like to say twisted, but that's where we're getting confused at because we're thinking that everyone that we say is a friend is a friend. Some people are just acquaintances. Some people come into your life because they have already scalped things out that this is what they need from you and then they're leaving. And see, that's where we get it twisted because we think that they're with us for a reason. But yeah, they are. They're with you for that reason, for that season, to get what they need out of you, to connect with the people that they need to connect with in order for them to move to that next level. Then they're going to drop you like a hot potato and move right on. And you're still going to be stuck in that, that uncomfortable zone because you can't believe that it happened to you. Shift. Learn how to shift. And when you learn how to shift, learn how to shift quickly. Don't be so caught off God when people walk away. They walked away from Jesus. Don't be so quick um, to accept people to come into your life as being friends. You know, know them by the fruit that they bear. Watch how they treat you. Watch how they treat other people that come into your presence. Some people, if you watch them long enough, if you listen to them long enough, those red flags will go up and you will realize, wait a minute. They done said some things that doesn't line up with God. See, you can't be so quick to get into um, friendships and relationships if you haven't sought God. If you haven't sought God, when I meet people, I, I'm automatically thinking, Father God, uh, grant me your wisdom. Grant me your understanding. What it is, uh, what is our connection? Because I want our connection to be your connection. I wanted to be that this was something that you orchestrated in my life. So when people come into my life, because I'm wise enough now, I'm not saying that I have it all together. I'm not saying I recognize everything or every person that comes into my life. But let me tell you, I do things decent and in order. I automatically turn it over to God. I automatically shift it. Um, I just shift. I'm going to shift you over here for a minute because I need to see what God says about you. We're going to have to do that. Guess why? Because if we don't do that, we're going to lose our peace. If we don't learn how to shift and turn things over to God, we're going to lose our joy. We're going to lose our love. We're going to lose our hope. We're going to lose our confidence. If we don't learn how, to shift things over and to manage our emotions. I keep hearing God say shift. Hallelujah. I keep hearing God say shift. In this season, you got to be able to come out of that comfort zone and shift. Don't be afraid to move. Don't be afraid to carry on. Don't be afraid to let go. I think I'm the queen of letting things go. I know my um, daughters tell me that all the time. Mommy, you can get over things quickly. The reason why I can get over things quickly is because I turn it over to God immediately. The reason why I can let things go quickly is because I turn it over to God immediately. I don't let it take root. I don't let it gain no um, momentum. I don't let it um, stay long because, you know, if it stays long, it starts gaining that root just like a plant. It just keeps going. The seed, it goes into the ground and then it um, starts growing up and it has the roots that come up with it. That's what I don't want it to do. If it's something that doesn't line up with God, I want to be able to shift it quickly. I want to be able to turn it over to God quickly. Why? Because I need God to evaluate it. I need God to come by and see about it. I need to God. I need God to tell me that it's okay, my sister. It's okay, my daughter. And that's where we have to be in our lives. We have to be able to say, Father God, I turn everything over to you. And see, when you turn your children over to God, when you turn your husband over to God, when you turn your relationships over to God, when you turn your co-workers over to God, when you uh, turn your family members over to God, your church family, because we even go through things in the church. We even go through things in the church that's sometimes beyond our emotions, beyond what we feel. Sometimes we don't know how to handle church hurt. Sometimes we don't know how to handle church hurt hurt. That's why God says shift. He said, I need you to shift it. I need you to turn it over to me. I need you to pray for wisdom about it because I don't need you to leave the church. 
I need you to shift some things over to me. Not some things, all things over to him. Because church hurt is a lot for someone to bear. Because when we come, we're coming to seek God. We're coming to hear a word. But sometimes we run into that church hurt, that person that was already hurting, didn't know it. And then they say something that throws you totally off. That's not, but God doesn't want you to leave the church. Stop thinking that every time something goes on in the church, that's a, um, that's a pass for you to leave the church. Stand still, be still and know that he is God. Stand still. If you know that you've been called to a certain church, and that word is going forth, stand your ground. Don't allow um, the devil to come in and move you. Don't get into church hopping from this church to that church. Shift the way you received it. If something was said to you, shift the way you received it. Shift the way um, it was said to you. If you know that it wasn't said right, you shift it, you turn it over to God and you say, God, listen, listen, I didn't appreciate what was said to me, but I need you to intervene on my behalf. Because if I intervene, if I jump in, I'm going to use the worldly approach. I'm going to bring in a a whole nother approach. But see, when you're walking with God, and you're talking to him and you're meditating on his word and something comes up, whether it's church hurt, whether it's work hurt, whether it's something that goes on in the family. So when you learn how to shift and look unto him, certain things that people say to you, it's just like this. It just brushes right off your shoulder. It just runs right on down your back like water. It just runs right on down your back. Why? Because you're not moved by everything someone says to you. You're not moved because someone did something to you because you know a God that has you covered. You know a God who's protecting you. You know a God that when people say things against you, when people say things that you know is not right, You know a God that's going to turn it around in your favor. So you're not so quick to move and run from church to church. You're not so quick to um, just give up. In this season, you can't give up. I heard my pastor say it. You can't give up. You've come too far with God. How are you giving up? How do you know so much about God? How have you seen God do so much in your life? And then somebody says one thing to you, one thing, and you're ready to leave the church. You're ready to give up on God. You can't give up now. You've come too far. You can't stop now. You've come too far. Don't allow what someone says and don't allow what someone does to you to move you off your focus. It's shifting time. It's shifting time. And that means that you have to learn how to shift and put things into a certain box. I'm I'm one of those people that, you know, if you say something to me, I'm going to shift it over into the box of unforgiveness. If you say something else to me, I'm going to shift it into the box of maybe you just don't know me. Okay, so you're not my friend. I'm going to shift it into the box. You're just an acquaintance. I'm going to put it in this box because, see, When God gave me the word shift, I knew he was talking about me. But I also know that he has some other people in place that he was talking about. Some of you are going through something that just, you know, just hurts you. I mean, hurts you to your core. Have you ever just been so hurt to your core? And you're like, wait a minute, God. What just happened to my life? How did I get so hurt? How did the person that I've been helping all this time Hurt me like that. Shift. Don't let it take root. Shift. Don't allow it to gain um, any roots on you. Why? Because the deeper that hurt goes, it's hard to let go. It's hard to forgive. If you don't learn how to forgive immediately, it can take root and it can grow. And you have to be able to um, one of my um, former co-workers, but always be my friend, my sister. She said, organize people. You are so right. Hmm. You know, you and I know about that. Organize people. Shift them. 
put them into the right category and stop trusting everybody with everything. Just because you meet someone today or you meet someone two or three days from now or month from down month from now doesn't mean you have to tell them everything. Learn how to shift some conversations. You don't have to talk about everything. You don't have to give people the 911 about you. You don't have to tell them everything. You can have a friendship and somebody cannot know not one thing about you, but they feel that they know everything about you. That's you shifting. That's you shifting your conversation. Your conversation doesn't always have to be about everything that you're going through. Everything that you're going through, turn it over to God. Let God know about it. Actually, God should be the first one that you tell it to. But we get on social media and we air everything out. God is saying, shift. I need you to shift that attitude. I need you to shift that um that situation. I need you to move out of that um stuck zone and start learning how to trust and depend on me. Start learning how to lean on me. The scripture is so clear. It says, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me. Come on now. It said, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. If you're going through something, it's bigger than you. It's bigger than me. When my heart is overwhelmed, our hearts, our heart get overwhelmed at so many times in our life that we need to make sure that we know where to shift, where to shift those emotions, where to place those emotions. Stop getting so caught off God. Stop getting in your emotions and start turning it over to God. When you learn how to turn everything over to God, you can say, when, I, when, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Because see, that's where you're going to go. You're going to go to the rock that is higher than you when your heart is overwhelmed because you're already seeking him. When you're seeking God, and like I always say, you're seeking him, you're meditating on his word from day to day. When your heart is overwhelmed, when you know that that superwoman syndrome is trying to come up and overtake you, you just say, listen, Father, I turn it all over to you. There's some things that we're going through, some things that I'm going through. I'm not exempt. I'm not exempt. I'm going through probably some of the same things that you're going through. But guess what? Guess what? I learned how to turn it over to God. That's why I'm free. That's why when I go places, I can smile because I'm free because I've learned how to release it. I've already learned a few years ago that the things that I'm going through, it's bigger than me. It's bigger than me. Actually, I'm no match for it. But I know that my father has me covered. I know that my father, he's my overseer. He calls me friend. So that's why when I go through things, I don't see it the way the world see it. When I go through things, I don't hear it the way the world hears it. When I go through things, I automatically turn it over to God because I'm seeking him at his word. I'm, I'm calling back God's word unto him. I'm letting him know that you said cast your burdens on him. I'm, um, I'm just turning everything that I have over to him because I know that it's his perfect peace that's keeping me. I know that when I turn everything over to him, no matter what I'm going through, when I turn it over to him, it's like a sweet release. It's like, man... This world doesn't know how good God has been to me and to my family. I can't doubt God because I know too much about him. When I've been in the valley, when I've been in um, some unpleasant places, when I've heard some negative things about me, some things that I, I, I personally know wasn't true. When I've been down to my last dollar and God made a way. When I've been into the hospital at my mom's bed, at my daughter's bed, come on now. I learned how to shift everything over to God. And that's what I'm saying to you. When you go through some things, learn how to shift it. Take it off your plate. It's bigger than you. You can't handle that. 
Seek God for wisdom. Seek God for his understanding. Learn how to seek him first. Seek him first. Not social media. Seek God first. Go to him in prayer. I tell you this morning, I'm trying to get on to um, Bible app. I do a uh, Bible app every morning. For some reason, I'm trying to find a scripture that I'm supposed to um speak on this morning or minister to on this morning. And guess what? My phone froze. I couldn't even get into Bible app. I couldn't get onto Facebook. I couldn't get onto anything. But you know what I did? I shift over to the Bible and I went into his word and I started reading his word. And I said, you know what, God, if it is your will, because I want his will to be done in my life. So if it is your will that I get onto Facebook live today, do something with this phone. I don't know why this phone froze, but just shift it, Father God, shift it. So I say to you, when you go through some things, don't and, and things don't always go your way because these electronics, they're not dependable, but God is dependable. Yes, I may have been connected, but I'm connected to the ultimate source, who is my God, my Father. So when I say that I wasn't prepared to come onto Facebook Live because I couldn't get onto my phone. But I knew that God had a word for someone, and that word is shift. Shift. Shift what you're going through. Turn it over to God and watch God work it out. Watch God make a way. Watch God do what no man can do. Listen, I heard this pastor say um, a few years ago, she said, um, those who heard the lie will one day hear the truth. Those who heard the lie will one day hear the truth. And when I heard that, I shift my thinking about what was going on in my life. I shift what was going on on my job because that freed me. Those who heard the lie will one day hear the truth. You don't have to fight your battles. Hello, you don't have to fight your battles. All you have to do is seek God for wisdom. All you have to do is seek God and watch God just turn it around. Those who heard the lie will one day hear the truth. Stop worrying about it. If you trust God, if you believe in God, if you love God, you don't love God. I love God. If you trust God, stop worrying about that. Those who heard the lie will one day hear the truth. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it's a done deal. God already have us covered. See, God has his people covered. So no matter what the world, no matter what labels the world has for us, no matter what labels the world want to put on us, guess what? <laughs> we are kings and queens. Don't worry about it, my sister. Don't worry about it, my brother. God is behind the scenes working it out in our favor. I'm standing on his word. I'm seeking him with my whole heart. I'm going to the rock that is higher than I. Shift your atmosphere. Shift the way you think about things. Shift the way you perceive things. Go to a higher level in your thinking. Go to a higher level in your believing. Go to a higher level in your faith. And watch God turn it around in your favor. Remember, if you miss my segment today, you can catch it on Gospel Time Radio. That's Gospel Time Radio at 6 a.m. I was trying to find um, the website, but I believe it's on here. That's Gospel Time Radio. Make sure you check that out. Make sure you, um, you know, listen in. They are not just me on there. There are other um, uh, ministers on there. Uh, one specifically, you know, one of my friends, Minister um, Sonia. So check it out. You know, spread the love, spread the word. Gospel time machine. Thank you so much, Deacon Reed. <laughs> uh, it's gospeltimemachine.com. So um, definitely check that out. I'm going to have to make sure that I write that down. Gospel time machine. Because sometimes I give things a name and 
There it is, but it's Gospel Time Machine. Check it out, 6 a.m. every morning. And like I said, there are other um awesome ministers, pastors on um Gospel Time Machine. So um check that out also. Listen, I'm getting ready to close, but I always say to you, this joy I have, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. This peace I have, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. Let me say to you, I've been through some things, but this joy I have, this peace I have, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. Don't allow no one to steal your joy. Don't allow them to steal your peace. Don't allow them to steal your love. Don't allow them to steal your faith. This joy I have, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. You have a wonderful, wonderful, awesome day on purpose. Why? Because you deserve it. God has a plan for your life. God has a plan for your life. Your purpose still stands regardless of your past. Your purpose still stands regardless of your past because God didn't change his mind. He's still going to bless. He's still going to heal. He's still going to deliver. He's still going to move in this season. Have a wonderful, awesome day. Shift and see what God does on your behalf. Peace.